Everyone's gone through a lot this year in 2020, which is why I propose to make humanity feel better, we give everyone their own spaceship. All right, slow down. That sounds good on the surface, but is that even possible? And even if it was, are we really sure that that would make everyone feel better? Plus, there are so many other great things we can spend our money on than buying over 7 billion spaceships. All right, all right, that's a, that's a good point. And I've set some really high burdens for myself to prove, which is why in this video, we're gonna be looking more in depth at burdens in debates. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Maddie. Welcome back to another Conquering Debating video. Today, we're going to be looking at the three most common types of burdens you'll come across in any debates, and how, as the affirmative team, you need to prove them in order to win. And, as the negative, it's your job to ensure that the affirmative does not prove them. These are the three burdens that the affirmative team will come across in almost every single debate. They need to prove that their model is effective, meaning it will actually solve the problem that they want it to solve. Practical, meaning that the benefits outweigh the harms, and principally justified, meaning that it's actually the right thing to do. And as the negative, if you can prove that their model isn't effective, practical, or principled, then most of their points become somewhat irrelevant, and you're in a really good place to win the debate. So let's break this down. The first thing you need to ask is, is it effective? Meaning, will it solve the issue that you want it to solve? Both teams in a debate will try and set out goals and objectives for how they would like their model to function in the real world. For the affirmative team, this means fixing the problem that they identified in the setup. And that also means that they have the burden to prove that their model is effective in actually solving this issue. Say the topic is that we should expel school bullies, a real topic I saw recently. The problem the affirmative might identify is that bullying is awful and people get away with it. So whatever plan they create, they need to actually prove that they're going to fix it. If you can prove that you're going to reduce bullying with your model, then your team's case is in a great place. However, if your model doesn't actually fix the issue, then you might need to readdress your model or the problem itself and approach it from a different angle. Practicality is the real meat and bones of the case. This is where the affirmative and the negative team go back and forth in arguments and rebuttal, with the affirmative team trying to prove that the benefits of their model outweigh the harms, and the negative team trying to prove that the harm outweigh the benefits. This is where most debates are won or lost. It is important to distinguish between minimizing benefits and proving harms. Even if you minimize a benefit, it still exists, just that the model isn't harmful, it's just slightly less beneficial. So if we take the same topic we were looking at before, about school bullies, let's say the affirmative team has a point that uh, if there is a risk of expulsion for bullying other students, then students will be less likely to bully because they'll be scared of being expelled. Even if the negative team says that maybe this won't be as effective because some students might not care if they're expelled, this doesn't get rid of the entire benefits of the affirmative team's model, so it doesn't really completely disprove it. But if the negative team proves that kids moving from school to school will mean they actually bully more, then that not only gets rid of the benefit, but is actually a harm. <music> Lastly, is your model principle? Sometimes you think of an amazing idea that's easy to do and will definitely work, but it happens to be a little immoral. This can happen, but it's best to avoid. Principles aren't just morality, they're ideals we want to enact. Freedom of speech, equality, right to education. All these are principles which you may want to base your team's case on. And often, the strongest models are based on the strongest principles. So ask yourself, should this be done? Is this the right thing to do? Will it hurt people? Is there a strong principle behind it? If the answer is yes, then of course, A plus model. But if the answer is no, then you may want to reconsider some things in your team's case. So maybe you want to fix bullying by caning bullies, which means physical assault as a punishment. Even if you can put aside whether or not this will actually work, because it almost certainly won't, it would be hard to prove that this is a moral or an ethical way to fix things. So if the negative team can prove that it's not principally okay to do, then it doesn't matter whether or not it will actually fix bullying because it's not the right way to go about things. 
So there you have it. If you go into a debate with those burdens in mind and make a case that is effective, has practical benefits and is principally justified, then you're in a great spot to win the debate. While as a negative team, if you are able to prove that one or more of these things aren't true, then you have a great shot at attacking it in your rebuttals and your arguments, knocking the legs out from the affirmative team and setting yourself up for a smooth victory. That's all for us. Make sure you check out our other videos, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.